we're going to actually dive into the technique of how to replace your overgrip. All right, so we've got our clipper overgrip here. Most of them have some kind of like uh, cardboard little tab in there to keep their, their shape. And also most overgrips have like a plastic coating over the top. You definitely want to make sure you, you take that off. And most but not all, uh, I don't think Turner grips, I might be wrong on this, uh, most have a little adhesive kind of tab down at the bottom. This is the part that you want to start with, is the adhesive tab. And something that's important is what direction you start in. And this is something I think a lot of people don't know. The way you, you start for, uh, for a righty is you want the grip to go out to the right. If I was, if I was gonna wrap this for myself, then I would have the, the grip going off to the left. So uh, what I wanna do is take that little adhesive tab off of the, the bottom of the grip and always start at the bottom of the, the handle. And from here, it's really important that you get the right amount of overlap here. Um, you don't want the bottom of the, the overgrip to be like flopping over the, the butt cap. You also don't want to leave a bunch of space. And this is a little bit of personal preference. Like personally, I don't like to feel any plastic against the, the heel pad of my hand. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it a little bit further than what the factory uh, grip is here. Uh, and so you see my, my starting position here is going to be like so. And so starting right in the middle of one of the flat side bevels here, uh, I'm going to keep my thumb on top of this because I'm going to create some tension here. And it's important to start with a little bit of a, of a pull, especially on a bigger handled uh, racket. It's important to stretch it out, but you want to go really level. And then as you turn it, I'm going to put my index finger on the tape so it doesn't uh, pull away. And I'm going to keep a pretty firm, like medium tension here. And the reason why that's important is because we want this edge of the start of the grip to really adhere to the replacement grip. And I'm just going to really focus on keeping the same uh, tension and the same uh, amount of material across the whole bottom. And now we've come back around to where we started. And so at this point, I'm going to start cutting down a little less than 45 degrees across. And this is where tension is really important. If I don't really pull some, some tension here, then this bottom part will really start to uh, kind of flap up and kind of come away from the grip. And now it's a matter of going along the crease, maintaining that tension. So you can see it's staying nice and, nice and tidy here. It's not bulging up or coming away from the replacement grip. From that point on, I'm gonna try to keep a really consistent like millimeter uh, overlap. And so if you look at uh, this overlap right here, from this point on down the rest of the handle, I'm basically going to try to maintain that same amount of overlap from uh, one turn to the next turn. And so now this is the, the last uh, tricky part, is tapering the grip. Now, you could be you could be a slob and just like just wrap it around the, the top of the handle uh, and just like tape it off and have it be all chunky and built up here. But I'm going to show you the essential way of finishing this off. So what you want to do is, is get to the point where you're just about to the, the end of the handle and put it down. Ideally on a table is the best way to do this, but, uh, but this will probably get the job done. And what you want to do is keep the angle of the the rest of the grip tape in line. Make sure it's parallel. See how all these lines are parallel? Because we've kept it nice and, nice and consistent. And so maintain that same angle. And what you want to do is take the scissors and draw a line from the very top of the factory grip and come across the end of the grip here. And so what you want to do is cut on that, on that line. So we, we should have a really nice uh, taper now that finishes the, the grip. And you see we have a really nice uh, straight finish cut. All right, so this is the, the finishing tape here. You want to go in the same direction that you went with the, the grip.
there you have it. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully uh, this will give you a step-by-step -step guide to, to wrap your own overgrip. It's really easy once you do a couple dozen of them, get the, get the hang of it. And you probably, you'll probably find your own preferences and uh, your own way of doing it. This is the way that I've always done it. Hopefully it gives you a good step in the right direction.